Okay, so this one's one for the abs, and it's like the reverse of a sitter. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it means that you're more likely to use your abs than your hip flexors. There will be some hip flexors being used, but it minimizes it. So ideally, what you'd be able to do is be like this, and you want to fully bring your belt buckle to your sternum, so you're all curved here, and then you sort of slowly lower down. Trying to stay rounded all the way down. And then you don't want to get up from here because that's where you've got to use your hip flexors a lot. So you sort of push up like this. You stay rounded. Like so. And you do that for reps. Now some of you are going to be weaker than me. And you'll do this. You'll go down pretty good. And then the muscle will give out and you'll just be like... Oh. And so if you do that, then you get a rubber band and you use it to help. So you go down as much as you can, letting the band slide. And if you're going to give way, then pull on a little bit to give you some, some support so that you can go down slow and curl the whole way. Then you can pull yourself up if you want. So you're going to go down. The workout will be the biggest if you stay curled the most. That's the key variable. So for me, this is burning more than just this one. All right. So we do that one. Okay, push stop. 